Hello everyone, DC Eric here, and I've been uh, thinking about getting this video done for a while now, and no better time than now. First off, I'm going to apologize about this sun glare. I don't have a blind in this uh, location, so yeah, it's, it's going to glare off my bald head. Sorry about that. Anyways, yes, now for this video, um, I'm not doing a full review on this product here. I will tell you though that this thing is freaking amazing. It is the Brook Wingman SD for the Sega Dreamcast and the Sega Saturn, which will allow you to use controllers like the Xbox One, the PS4, PS3, and I believe now they also have added the PS5 and they have keyboards, USB keyboard support and a bunch of other controllers as well but for today basically I'm going to be uh, using the Xbox One and as you can see in the title below I have I, I want to be able to show you how to use dual sticks for Quake 3 Arena now um, there is there is an issue uh, with it a little bit uh, the sensitivity is kind of off and uh, there's no way to uh, change that um, at all because the the uh, right stick is actually mapped with the X, Y, A, and B buttons. So that's that's how you'll be using uh, the dual stick in the game. Anyways, yes. So this this product here, I just got to tell you because I had issues with that Striker DC controller for the Dreamcast, um, as I done a video in the past about the triggers breaking on the uh, the striker DC controller because of the very horrible plastic and the way they've kind of put the triggers in there they eventually you know they break so I instead put 60 bucks onto this thing here and it's just amazing and uh, they have a lot of firmware updates and uh, if you ever have any issues all you have to do is just contact them via EM email. Um, they did have an issue with uh, with contacting me one time um, because for some reason my uh, my emails were going to their junk but eventually I got into contact with um, with one of the uh, guys from, from Brook and they were able to get the situation with this controller because there's uh, many different types of Xbox One controllers and I believe this was made for the Slim Xbox One, so they had to kind of uh, get that working properly. So yeah, once again, sorry for the uh, blinding light here. Now I'm going to get into the video of Quake 3 Arena and show you how to get it working with your right dual stick. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so we are now here in uh, Quake 3 to set up the controller for using the right joystick. But before I get into that, I do want to mention um, one other feature I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, that uh, the Wingman SD does have uh, VMU built in. Um, no, it doesn't have the LCD screen, but it does have 240 um, blocks available for your, for your games. That is a lot more than the original BMU, and apparently uh, people have commented uh, about this in the past that increasing the uh, block size may bug some games, and uh, all I can tell you right now from testing, because from what I heard is uh, the bug exists in MSR, Metropolis Street Racer for the Steam, uh, Sega Dreamcast, and um, that did not have any issues with the Wingman SD. Now of course if you don't want to have the extra block size you can use it out of the box without the block uh, uh, increasing the block size. Um, there is additional software you'll need in order for that to work anyway. So yes, uh, you have the option to increase the block size and you can use it uh, or you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Anyways, um, we do have to get into the game here and set up the controls because, yes, this video is about using the right joystick on the Xbox One controller. And as I had mentioned, uh, the right joystick is mapped to the X, Y, A, and B buttons, and uh, that's basically how it plays out. So sensitivity might be a little bit of an issue for some people because, again, the controls were basically meant for the X, Y, B, and A 
Um, but so we are going to get into the game here and go to settings and set up the controller to work with the right joystick. Uh, sorry, I selected the wrong thing there. Go to setup in the menu here. Then we just want to go to controls, press the A button, and now we're going to be switching the movement, uh, for, sorry, um, yeah, the movement to the left joystick and the camera to the right. So we're going to be pressing up, left joystick, down, left joystick, left with the left joystick, and right with the left joystick. Now what we want to do, uh, this is no longer there, and this is where we change it to the right joystick. So we're going to turn left. Oh, sorry, it went out because I accidentally, again, it's mapped to the the joystick there. So, um, oh, well, it, it worked out. So you're going to turn left with the left joystick, and of course the left, um, sorry, the right joystick, the left on the right joystick is the X button, so that's why you see the X there. So we're gonna do the right with uh, the right joystick, and that turns into B, which again, the right is mapped to the right joystick. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and go to looking, and we're gonna press up on the right joystick, and down with the right joystick, and yes, again, mapped with Y and A for those. <clears throat> those buttons. Okay, so that's all we have to do there. Now, um, I'm just going to go into the game and show you how it works out. We're going to go to multiplayer mode, and I'm going to play without any CPU characters. So I'm just going to go in there like that. Free for all, blah, 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 blah. Let's get that done. Select the, the level. And now, now that we got the right joystick working, it'll work pretty much uh, similar to how you play FPS games on Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, ETC. So, you move with the left joystick. Up goes uh, uh, forward and down goes backward. Left goes left and right goes, yeah, just like that. So, that's basically your strafing there. That's kind of cool. So, yes, the right joystick goes up and down and left and right. So now you can play the game pretty much like you'd be able to do on the Xbox. Now there is one other issue, and I'm glad I've noticed this right away, or maybe it's off already, but for you, if it's not off, you will have to go to controls, go to looking, and disable auto center, and it looks like it is on for me. So I'm going to turn that off now, and now I can play the game without having to worry about it auto-centering all the time and bugging up from having to look at, uh, well, aiming at the character. Okay, so now I'm going to just start a one-on-one -on -one with a, a bot. And uh, I'm going to just do a 10 frag. Now, hopefully I can remember this because uh, I have done this multiple times trying to get this video out for you guys. And, uh, and I messed up. So now it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to select that, and I'm going to go to free-for-all, and we're going to go to um, that character there. I'm going to go to setup, choose the difficulty to easy, and, uh, oh yeah, select the character. I'm going to choose orb, because it's one of my favorite characters. There he is. Go to done, and press A, 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 and now I'm going to change the frags to 10. And there we go. Now we're just going to get in the game. And we're going to be able to use the right joystick for the game. Well, for the camera, which is the proper way of playing. Wish the Dreamcast had that feature originally, but uh, they were kind of late on that. Okay, so here we go. Do -do -do. We're just going to find the, the character. There he is. Oh, I didn't change the difficulty, so it is going to be a little hard. I got him, though. I should pick up some more health. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. Okay. Let's see if I can beat him. Let's get some murmur chips there. Okay, is he here? Where is he? He's gonna get that armor down there, isn't he? Yep. Uh, well, I might die. Because I didn't change the difficulty to easy. And as I said, the sensitivity might be a little off. And on harder difficulties, he, I don't know. It feels like it needs to be toned down a bit. I'm not sure if... If, uh, if Brooks can make that a feature uh, built into the adapter. Um, the only reason why I would say there's no way that is possible because um, the buttons, you can't really change the sensitivity of the buttons. So yeah, that's, it just doesn't work like that. The, the joystick is pretty, the right joystick is pretty much a map button or a button. Okay, I've been trying to pick that up. Okay, this guy's being a pain. I don't think I'll be able to beat him. Okay, you pain. Oh, jeez. I gotta get some health, man. Yeah, that's one thing I forgot to do, is the... the difficulty. Only on medium by default. I think I see him. Oh man, whatever. As soon as this game's done, I I'm gonna give up. But basically, this video was for the right joystick, so I don't really care. Okay, where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. There he is. I think the sensitivity may be needed to to be higher or faster. Yes, I got him. Excellent. Now I can take that armor from him. He's in the lead anyway. Okay. There we go. Okay, I gotta get some health. Never mind about looking for him yet. He's not around yet. He's probably going for that armor. right up there, so I'm gonna go for that, because I know that's where he's gonna be going pretty soon. Yep, there he is. He's trying to run away. Oh, you. All right. Okay, where are you? There we go. Oh man, I'm doing so bad here. Well, at least I got some health. Oh, there's some more health. My armor is completely gone now. Alright. There he is. And he's got the armor. Alright. There's some armor chips. Or discs. Whatever Whatever they are. You are such a pain. Come on, we're making this too long. Doesn't need to be that long. Ten frags, I thought it'd be done by now. Okay, where are you? you looking around? Yep, yeah, you are. Jeez. Ah! Too hard. He's gonna win, man. Yeah, you need to be able to have the sensitivity for this. This is so. This is the only complaint for me uh, with this. For others, you might uh, have a better chance at it than me. But yeah, there we go. So I, I guess the only thing I can suggest, possibly, is mapping the right joystick to the left uh, using the uh, Wingman SB uh, 
button mapper. And then uh, map the left joystick to the A and B's for moving. And that might, might work a little bit better. So who knows, maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, but for now, this is... This is the only way I've been able to do it. Or the only way I've done it so far. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I did it, yes! I'm in second place, but that doesn't mean anything because, yeah, I'm... Oh, it's only me and him, so I'm losing. Oh, yes, I got him. Oh, you're so bad. Now I am first place. Yes, I'm getting him. All right. Now, the only issue I have is changing the, uh, the D-pad. Okay, he's going to be coming around that corner soon, ain't he? Yep. Oh. All right, one frag left. Man, I'm kicking his butt. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he's behind me? Oh, man, if I knew he was behind me, come on! Alright, let's get up here, get the armor here. Um, I gotta get some rocket launchers to get this guy. It's easier to use a rocket launcher than, uh... Where is he? Where is he? I seen you, buddy. There you are. Come on. All right. Yeah, so uh, the button is configured, uh, like for the jump, it is the left trigger. I forgot to mention that. Like, I don't know what it is originally in F other FPS games for the Xbox consoles, but I don't know. The, it was not for the Dreamcast that way, and I find it might be a lot better that way. So uh, yeah, that's that's how you do uh, a joystick, uh, the right joystick. For Quake 3 Arena, it might work better with uh, other games other than FPS. Um, maybe even Unreal Tournament might work better than, than Quake 3 Arena. But yeah, the main issue here is that there's no ses sensitivity options uh, for the right joystick. Because uh, yeah, uh, there was no right joystick on the Dreamcast. So yeah, you kind of have to deal with that. Um, apparently from what I heard, in uh, the source for the controller... There is a right joystick, but uh, yeah, the Dreamcast it originally didn't have that. So I'm not sure if somehow Wingman SD can, or sorry, Brooks can get that to work with the Wingman SD for future use. Um, but yeah, so that's that's dual joystick, and using the Xbox One uh, controller with the Wingman SD, as I had mentioned, you can use a variety of different controllers from PlayStation 3, PS4. And even the PS5 now, and a USB keyboard, um, yes, Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. Uh, I can go on forever here. It might work with a bunch of other stuff. You're going to have to just check it out on your own. So, yes, this is basically how you get uh, the right joystick to work for Quake 3 Arena on the Dreamcast. If you like what you've seen, just give me a good old thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and thanks for watching. I will see you guys again. Goodbye for now.